Hey guys, this is Amin from Falcon Notes, and today we're going to go over this step one Notion template, show you why why you could benefit from using this, how it works, and uh, how you can start using this to track along your progress and do well. So jumping right into it, why use a temp Notion template specifically for step one? So step one, a big exam, probably the biggest exam you'll take in your medical school career. There's a lot to cover, and uh, it requires a lot of preparation. And again, as I always say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So especially with step one, the, the material, now that the exam is pass fail, the material still matters to set you up for success for step two. So it's important you prepare well for step one and you make sure you have a good foundation in all the fundamentals throughout step one uh, to carry you into step two, uh, where you will do well and hopefully set you know a good benchmark for residency application. So why Notion? Um, first of all, it's a digital workspace that's growing in popularity among med students. But I think traditionally, if you look at what people would do, the pen and paper planners or the Excel sheets, those are good. But however, they're just 20th century. I think Notion gives you the ability to use Excel sheets, uh, but also you can link things together. You can open pages. If Imagine in an Excel sheet, if you have a table and then one of the items you can open up and it has its own page can't really do that with with excel sheets you have customizability and then especially if you're provided a template that it's already optimized for you for your specific purpose you don't have to waste time figuring how out how to best use notion and how to best optimize the app and the workspace for you so with that said uh we'll get right into it our template um you'll go on our website and uh you'll scroll down put in your email show me the template and then immediately it'll take you to uh the template here and once you're at the template you're and you're logged into notion i'm logged in up here i'm going to hit duplicate and that'll duplicate it straight into my uh, personal Notion uh, page. So now I have it right here. So with that said, uh, this is what our template looks like. And I'll kind of just go through the different parts of it and uh, show you how you can use this. Basically, we've created a personalizable study schedule uh, that allows you to track the different parts of your studying. And uh, it, here you can see how it's organized from the top. But starting from up here, this is a tutorial. Anytime you see this yellow with this key emoji, that means it's a tutorial. That's just showing you how to use the page. So here's some tips, and I'm basically explaining a lot of this in my video right now. So you don't, you, you know, you don't have to go through it again. But if you, in case you need it, um, you can use these tips to uh, help you with that in the beginning. Now, the first thing you'll see at the very top is your master schedule. This is the most important part of your uh, your dedicated study period, right? Your, what we did is we break up your studying into the different portions of the exam. So, for example, we break it up into the social sciences, into microbio, into cardio, into hemonc, into to biochem and immunology. So we separate it into all these different review sessions. Um, review periods, I should say. So for example, cardiorespiratory includes cardio and pulmonary. That goes from April 13th to the 16th. So uh, essentially, this is your master schedule and it can be viewed as a table and it can also be viewed as a calendar. And then here in the calendar view, you can actually kind of you know adjust how long things are, move things around to make things work best for you. Um, and then you'll see here are the other databases. There's one for subjects broken up by first aid. There is the topics needing work. Uh, this is the same database that's just viewed a different way here. We'll talk about that in a moment. This is the practice exam database. Uh, this is the extra resources, and this is just miscellaneous notes. So we'll start again at the top for the first database. So for the master schedule, um, like I said, every single part of your dedicated will be broken up into different periods. So for example, you have your uh, individual subject review periods, but then you also have your exams on here. And the best thing about Notion is that everything can be linked to each other. So we talked about all these different databases, subjects by first aid. If you look at the social science review, it's linked to this, uh, this page in the subjects by first aid database called public health. So as you can see, public health is linked to social science review, right? 
That's what this arrow means. Anytime you see this arrow in the column in Notion, that means it's linked to another database. And that's what makes, again, that's what makes Notion so useful is you can link everything to each other and everything stays connected to each other. So let's say I, I am in this review period, right? I am in my social science review. So what can I do? I can actually open up this page and I can actually go through and even make a daily schedule for myself. So for example, on Thursday, you know, I just want to, these are some quick things that I want to get through. I can make a simple checklist and, um, you know, list things that I want to do for, uh, for each day of my review period. And you can use this however much you want or however much you don't want. If you just want to use it to plan out what days you're going to be reviewing, then you can also just use it for that. You can also put random information like how many questions are in the QBank that you need to get through, how many Anki cards are there in public health, et cetera, et cetera. So use this page to plan out reviewing that specific subject. And then, uh, as I said, uh, this the review periods are linked to the first aid subjects, and then each practice exam is going to be linked to this practice practice exam table down here. Um, and then each one of these practice exams has a full page uh, to kind of track your progress and review, uh, basically help you take notes and review the exam uh, practice exam that you took. Uh, in addition, we also link it to the extra resources, and this is basically just linking extra resources that you want to cover for your social science review period. Now, moving on to the subjects by first aid uh, table here. So you have all the subjects in listed in first aid, and as you guys know, first aid is basically the Bible for step one studying. So you have uh, the subjects and all of the subjects are linked to specific review periods on your master schedule. So as you can see here, place on, ma on, on master schedule, everything is linked, right? Everything is linked to this master database, schedule database. Every subject has its own page. So I can open up biochemistry and biochemistry, we've even broken it up into the different ports, portions of the chapter in first aid. So even uh, even what you can do is if within the cellular section you have some notes that you just want to keep track of, some sort of table or picture that you thought was very helpful and you want to keep track of, you can just throw this into this page and it, it's going to be stored in your biochemistry page. And then all of these will be broken up by the different uh, portions in first aid. And then everything you can, you know, basically just keep your notes, keep images that you like. Um, use it again, use it as much as you need, or, you know, if you just want to keep the pages there, you can just do that. I also put in a column here for how many pages it is in first aid, just to give you a relative idea of how big that subject is. Um, moving on. So this database, this is one of my favorites because this is something that I always needed and having this database makes it so easy. And this, you can start using way before your dedicated period. When you randomly, you know, you're about two, three months from your step exam and you start thinking, you know what, there, I, I, this topic, I need to review it. I need to write it down somewhere. So what you can do is anytime you think of a topic that you need to review, or maybe you just did a practice exam and you need, you need to review a specific subject that you got wrong on uh, during an exam, you can actually quickly make a new topic here. So I can say, for example, um, cardiac physiology, right? And then again, whenever you see this arrow, that means it's linked to another database, right? So this is linked to all the first aid subjects here. So right here, I'm just going to put cardiovascular. I put cardiovascular. And uh, voila, there it is. Uh, there is this topic right here. And then let's say I have a topic and I want to put in some notes about it. I can um, I can even put in a quick picture. This is a picture from UWorld um, about that specific question. I can close it. And then once I have reviewed it, I click this check mark and then it shows up here in the reviewed uh reviewed section right here. And this is just a linked, this is basically a linked database. So that means this is the same database as this one. This is just uh, configured so that it only shows the one that's the, the items that you've already reviewed. And we've set it up for you in that way so that, you know, you want to keep track of what you've reviewed. As soon as you click the checkbox, it shows up right here. You unclick it, it shows up back here. 
So this is something that I think is very useful. Um, and then even if you go to back to cardiovascular, the subjects by first aid, um, you can actually see all the subjects that or the, all the topics that need work within each first aid subject. So for example, I just added cardiac physiology. It's, it's showing up under cardiovascular as a topic that I need to review. So I think it's just very useful to see everything linked to each other uh, in this manner and something that I found very useful during my study. The last database we have, uh, or not the last, the second to last, is the practice exam review. So this is also very, very helpful. Uh, essentially, this is each exam is going to be linked to um, a spot on your schedule. So on your schedule, what you'll do is you'll put uh, practice exams for um, you know, you, you'll schedule them forever you, for whenever you want to take them. And then you're going to link them to, you know, whatever actual exam it is that you want to take. So, for example, let's say I'm taking NBME 27. Um, I can actually go through the exam and I can actually go through each block and mark out how many questions I got wrong for each one. I can even have break it down and put, you know, reason for incorrects on all the different uh, uh, subjects. And then I can even break it down into, you know, how many were a diagnosis error, how many were a connection problem. Uh, you can do it however you want. Um, and then, again, you can also uh, you can also put content gaps. So you can link specific topics that um, need work and that you got wrong. Uh, so these are linked to uh, one of the pages here in this table. And then I also would just, you know, pull a screenshot from my actual NBME exam to kind of track along and have somewhere to quickly store that information. So if I can go back and I can see, oh, uh, on reproductive and endocrine, you know, this is how I did on NBME 28. And then the next exam, I kind of see how I progressed. So it's just a, it's an easy and dirty way to kind of see how, um, you know, you're progressing along with your uh, exams here. And then... The last database we have is the extra resources. And basically, this is pretty straightforward. Um, what it is, is just a bunch of random resources that you know you want to get through before you finish. And again, all of these will be linked to a place on your schedule. So let's say you want to review ethics during social sciences. You just put in social sciences review, and that pulls um, all the different review periods from your master schedule. And now it's automatically linked. So it's already linked and good to go. And uh, it's just something to keep track of once it's reviewed, just check it off here. The last part is just some step studying notes that you can use uh, to, to put in whatever information you need and um, you know use it as you need basically. So that's basically a basic overview of how the Notion page works. And again, Notion is supposed to be for you. It's supposed to optimize your studying. So I would spend, basically about five minutes to you know five to ten minutes just figuring out how the page works play around with it try to configure it see how it works and you want to put in time right now so that when you're studying you don't need to try to try to fidget with the page or fidget you know how does it work how, how am i supposed to link you, you know you just take a little bit of time figuring out how it works and then once you've kind of figured it out the first thing you can do is you can start deleting some of the tutorial information as i said anything with the in yellow with the key emoji means it's a tutorial. And uh, then uh, the next thing I would do is go to the calendar view and then adjust the review periods as you need. So let's say you want to do repro uh, during this time, you know, you can put it here, you can spread it out like this, uh, however you please. So I would do that. And then I would also plan out when you're taking your practice exams. And um, I would go ahead then and delete these topics that need to work because obviously these were just uh, placeholders that I put in, in place. Um, I would go ahead and put in the dates for the practice exams. And, uh, you know, you can keep these resources, you can add as you need. If you don't want to take some out, you can take some out. And then, like I said, this is just for extraneous studying notes that you need. And that's pretty much it. So when you first take a look at it, it might look a little overwhelming, but when you really look through it, it's actually pretty straightforward. So take some time in the beginning to just figure it out and then just plug and chug with your own information. And really, we just hope to make your dedicated study period a little bit less stressful, a little bit less of a nuisance and more organized, more productive. And uh, essentially, you can use the page however you like. Once you duplicate it, you can customize it however you want. You can take out things that you don't want. 
and you can use it to however much extent you think you need to use. Um, but with that said, best of luck on your studying. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through our website. And uh, we wish you the best of luck with your step one study.